Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode of Adam and Simon Bullshit Busters. I'm Simon Batchelor. I am Adam Bastock. And this week we are going to be talking about when to use paid ads for your new business, product or service. So Adam, do you want to start off by explaining a kind of common misconception that businesses have about when is the right time to start using paid ads? Yes, this is one of my favourite topics because I've, I get this quite a lot in terms of people coming to me and saying, I'm launching a new website, I've got a new Shopify store that I want to start advertising and getting customers to. Um, I want to do either like SEO or start investing in that or, or typically then the conversation goes towards Google Ads. Um, social ads are also going to be included in this general theory under paid ads, but yeah. I'll use Google Ads as the example probably because that's what I'm most used to. Yeah, people but it's typically... interchangeable with like Facebook and Instagram ads as well. Yeah, exactly, just in case I end up start slipping into Google yeah. a lot, you know. Um, I think one of the main, the most important message to say here is that all these tools, all this paid advertising, it will get you more traffic, but it won't get you more customers. Because quite often people, when they've just launched a new website, you're missing quite a few of the core components still. So you probably will have a beautifully designed site that has very limited um trust essentially through social proof through orders historically and building those up is going to take time and it's going to take time to build that trust with customers mm. and therefore just driving people who don't know who you are who have no previous interaction with you to a website which they don't want to buy from that is traffic that is not a customer or even yeah. a potential customer necessarily so what i typically advise a lot of these companies do is they need to take a step back and start looking at all the other parts of where they can build that trust and um, partnerships are quite a good way of doing that and just looking at the entire customer journey and just really emphasizing that they need to take a step back and look at the whole picture and not just the fact they've got a new website and that they want to try and drive people to it because it is very cheap to drive people to a website and you can spend a lot of money getting a lot of people to the website getting them to purchase something is an entirely different challenge and you need to approach it in an entirely different way. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I think the common misconception is, well, I've got this product, I've got this service, and I've put it on my website and people aren't buying it. So I go online and people say, oh, well, if you use Google Ads or Facebook Ads, blah, blah, you can get more customers. And you go to the Facebook site and it's like, get more customers, just give us some money for the ads. And, and essentially what they're doing is they are just interchanging the word traffic with customers. Because yeah. obviously they're selling the dream rather than the reality. The reality is what they're actually getting you is clicks. So clicks and traffic, you know, so it's like someone is looking for this. They make you your search terms or you, you know, interrupt them on social, etc., etc. You get that traffic. But what they're not bringing you is someone who's ready to buy necessarily. They might be, but not necessarily. So what you end up with is lots of strangers, lots of tyre kickers, basically. People who are suddenly on your website wondering what it is they're doing on your website. Now, if you've got a product that not many people are buying, all you've done is paid money to bring people to look at a product and service that people don't want to buy. Yeah. And that's an expensive strategy, and it gets expensive quick with Google Ads especially, and especially with Facebook Ads. You can get a lot of eyeballs on something that just isn't going to sell. Exactly. I think that's the problem. Is you can sc the reason why a lot of people want to do paid advertising is because it's brilliant at scaling um, very mm. well. And if you want to go from 10 people a month to 1,000 people a month, that's very difficult to do through SEO or through partnerships or through marketing. But through Google Ads or Facebook Ads, it's much easier to, to mm. make that leap. However, the reason be you know, it being easy doesn't make it good. Yes. It's kind of the inverse almost, is the fact that it is easy is why you're then just targeting an entirely new set, subset of people who don't know about you and you need to really just build up all the blocks before that before you start running into it. I think there's a really good analogy that you used earlier, which I think you should explain. Um, oh, yes. So essentially an, an analogy I use is that let's imagine that for some reason you set up a pottery studio at a service station on the M62. Now, on the face of it, that's a bold business move. It's a bit risky, but maybe some people will pull in off the motorway and think, do you know what, I've got an hour and a half to two hours to spare. I'm going to make a pot. So a handful of people will probably buy. 
Now, if I was to then say to you, okay, you're not selling very well, rather than look at moving your business because you've just set it up in the wrong place, which is what you should be doing, I'm going to sell you billboards all the way down the motorway trying to encourage people to come in. Now, that is going to get more people in because they're going to go, oh, yeah, should we, should we just pop in and have a look at that pottery studio? Yeah, sure. So they pull in and they're like, mm, we've got 20 minutes. Oh, it's an hour and a half. No, it's not for me. And off they go. So all you've done is paid lots of money to get lots more people to pull in to look at something that they don't want to buy. And then they're just going to drive off. So rather than focusing on getting more people who don't want to buy what you're doing to come and tell you that they don't want to buy what you're doing, the best thing to do is to look from the outside in and think, why is no one stopping at my service station pottery studio? The reason yeah. is because people don't have that time. If you move it to the middle of town, next to, say, a coffee shop or in the middle of town where people do have time, then you're gonna, that's a better business decision and their money would be better spent doing that than it would be on just hiring all the billboards down the motorway. I think it really comes back to that whole empathetic point and just putting yourself in the customer's shoes and going, well... Mm. Yes, I can get loads of eyeballs, I can get loads of traffic going past my business, but is it the right traffic and is it people yeah. who actually care and want to buy? And if the answer is no, then it's okay, well, what do they care about? Where, where are they currently? What are their problems? What are their challenges? And then building mm -hmm. a marketing strategy around that, which may include paid advertising, is, yes. you know, that's not necessarily it's a bad thing, but you need to be at a point of understanding your customer much more deeply to be able to tailor the, the advertising around them and around their mm. problems rather yes. than just around your problems, which I think is ultimately the, the, the usual reach for paid advertising for a business owner is, I want to change my business very quickly. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, I can just turn, I can throw money at it. Great. Yeah. That's never really going to answer anything in the long term. So we've done an entire different video on that. Yeah. I think, well, I, think the, I, th I think though, the the sort of summarizing point for me really is if you've got a product which has a really good conversion rate you know most of the traffic that comes to your site is purchasing then you would want to look at mm -hmm. using paid ads to scale that sales to scale those sales up now if you're watching this video and you're thinking i don't know what my conversion rate is then paid ads is not, you are not at a point where, can, exactly. where paid ads is for you. Unless you can measure it's working, you shouldn't be spending, you should be spending zero pounds on paid ads um, because you have to be able to measure those conversions. So even if it's lead gen, even if you're doing a service and it's lead gen sign up and you know, okay, I got this Google ads campaign, it's bringing people to this, this website, I get the forms filled in and then I have to make the sale you know, that, that's fine, but as long as they're filling in the form. And if you go, do you know what, I've had 10 people visit the website and one person filled in the form, mm -hmm. that's great. And then you go like, the next week you might get 10 people visit the website and four people fill in the form. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, people are interested in this. Then paid ads is probably for you because you know how many people are coming, what, how many people convert, so you can work at your conversion rate. And ads is potentially going to scale that up for you. If, however, you get 1,000 people to your website and no one fills in a form, then getting 10,000 or 100,000 people to that same web page is going to have the same result. Exactly. I think that's a really good point to end on. So I think the point, going back to the original question of, of like, um, when is the right time to do paid ads? And it's, it's when you've already got customers that are spending money with you. At that point, you can use paid ads to scale it. But at any point before that, it's just not really the right time. Yeah. Excellent. If you have any more questions about using paid ads or you are wondering whether it's the right time for you, then do get in touch. We are happy to have a chat about uh, whether paid ads is right for you. Um, do give us a follow if you can on your podcast app or subscribe here on YouTube. That would be much appreciated. So thanks very much for listening and we'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Just drop the job. I'm a silence, bullshit, bustle.